Hi everyone, it's Mimi, and I'm back with a new doll review. This time I finally found Rally Radmore. Let's see, a Rally or No, it's probably Rally. I don't know. I don't think anybody knows how to pronounce her name just yet. Anyways, this is the Wild Hearts crew. I finally found her. I had been looking for her. She is probably one of the hardest ones to find. But finally, finally my store started getting her in. And not only do I have her, I also have one of the, I would call it an accessory pack. I really wouldn't call it a fashion pack. So this is the Skater's Gotta Skate. So I'll be doing more with that after I get her out of her box. Oh, she's so pretty. So let's take a quick look at said box. So there's a bunch of different things that represent her. So she has a guitar. This side seems to be the side that pretty much is on all the boxes. So, if you have not already looked and checked out, ooh, squeaky box on the floor, seen any of the other videos, I already have reviewed Charlie Lake and Corey Cruz. So, I have these three. I have seen these two as well in my stores, and we're in South Carolina, so they're all five in South Carolina now. And I believe my Walmart has also been carrying all of the accessory packs. So this part right here, I'm just going to move it in a part where you guys can pause and read it. This is the part that I believe is on all of the boxes and then right here is some of the information about Rally which hopefully is focused enough for you guys to be able to pause and read. Alright, speaking of pausing, I'm going to pause and get her out of the box. Be right back. All right, here she is. She's so pretty, and I'm sure some of you may have noticed already, or her and heard, she does have quite a few things, or at least a few little things that are very reminiscent of Monster High. And before I forget, these dolls are right now, as far as I know, they are exclusively Walmart. They should retail for $14.97, and they are jointed, head, shoulders, elbows, wrists, knees, uh, no ankles, hips, and did they have... no, no chest. Okay. So, kind of simpler, a um, little bit above simple articulation, so there are elbows and wrists and knees instead of just shoulders, hips. They're what I call a single joint. It's not like the Barbie made to move where it's there's like two joints, which me personally, I like that better. Now, her joints are a little bit stiff because I said to move her legs and her arms around once I got her out of the box to kind of get her into a normal position. So, uh, anyways, I'm getting distracted and off course. So some of the little monster high things, there's like a little skullet right here, to where it's like maybe a little lapel pin, a lightning bolt, which could be anything, but also very monster high. And of course, the little clothes pin, cl not clothes pin, safety pin, safety pin, <laughs> safety pin earrings. So, which, they're both her and she has two of, sometimes they do mismatch earrings, but she has those too. She also has these cool goggles, very steampunk. And as you can see for hair, part of it is molded. The goggles, yeah, oh that's nice, they're adjustable. So it could work for some other dolls too with that have smaller heads. So it looks like there's, there's two different, there's a, I don't know if that's supposed to be tape or just engravement, I'm not sure what that is. Might also help if I, there we go. The rest of her hair now, I think, yeah, that, that's rooted. So only this part is painted. It's beautiful. As you can see from the glare, it's all predominantly white, but there is this, I think that would be magenta? Magenta chunk, kind of like a streak. It looks like it bases off of here. I believe they have, her eyebrows have a bit of a magenta tone to them as well. She has beautiful eyes. It also, one thing that took me a little bit was that the eyes on some of the dolls I saw were very, what we call wonky. What, this one was much larger than this one. As you can, I don't know if you guys can tell, there is still a little bit of size difference. Like maybe this eyes open more and this eyes a little more closed, but this was the best one I could find. She has a little beauty mark, which is rather cute, nice touch. And it's kind of like a pinkish red, because almost it's almost the same shade as the jacket. 
but it's not quite red. It's not quite pink. So it's like a, maybe not a pinker shirt. I don't know. It's a very pretty color. And you, as you can see, she has a little bit of teeth showing. What am I missing? Okay. So moving on, she has, will it come off? Yeah. All right. There's the break. There's the, not that you guys can see it because of the jacket. The, what is up with these colors? Red and pink bleeding thankfully it's on the rubber and not on her skin let me move this down so you guys can see hopefully you can see if i can get her i can't get the, there is elastic band and it has see that up against the black in her skin that's pink i don't know what it is about pink and red because i had this problem with no that's weren't by mattel that was the descendants dolls here lately, the doll call the dolls when they have red or pink clothing, it bleeds and just gets all over these rubber bands. I don't know what's going on. And there's the moving on along the jacket, so it does have a lot of like little detailing. There's like still a little silver button there, I guess, a little button there. She has the Wild Hearts Crew emblem right there, and yes, and written on the back of the jacket. It's very cool. It's a very like faux leather. It looks like faux leather or leather or whatnot. I, anywho, and on, it is on top of the black uh, sleeveless tank top with this rather radical skull flames hair. Kind of makes me think of the Punisher. So does this slide on her Velcro? Okay, so the tank top Velcros. The, I'm going to say these are probably supposed to be like jeggings. Those Velcro. They have zippers detailing all over them, which is painted on. I love these pants. So they are, and they're black base with pink, yellow, blue, and like, it's, it's either white or really pale blue. And then down here, she has some really cool combat boots with the belt straps. I do like the detailing, and if you're really good with painting, well, or even if you're just testing out and don't mind the risk of these, you know, maybe being a little bit messed up or whatnot. So anyway, I'm trying to say is, if I can get my words out correctly, is that it would be cool to paint these and give it more detailing. It's got the detail. Molding just doesn't have color. I have no idea why they have holes in their shoes. But I do like that they have that much detailing. I've also discovered that... The Disney Princess, the new ones, the from like Wreck-It Ralph, their shoes fit. Because I have the Mulan outfit. Her shoes fit. The Barbie tops seem to fit because I recently did a Dollar Tree haul. Our Dollar Tree finally got some Barbie tops in. And we tried them on. The tops fit pretty good. I still haven't tried any like other Barbie clothes. Barbie outfits or any of the little like uh the walmart two dollar outfits on her or on any of them for bottom wise so because since they are a little bit fuller in the hip and thighs than the barbies are <clears throat> oh excuse me goodness i'm so sorry so i'm not sure but i do believe like anything that's more like for a curvy style barbie will fit on these and last but not least i almost forgot her little fanny pack which is pretty cool with its little design. This is a very hot pink. Oh, that's adjustable too. That's nice. All right, guys. So now that we have checked her out, and I do apologize for not being able to talk very clearly tonight. This is what happens when I film in the evenings. And if you balance them just right, at least her, she can't stand her on her own because she has no stand or hairbrush. But, I mean, th that's an easy thing. Okay. Well, she stood on her own for a few seconds. Okay. she's. I'm just going to lean against that while I get this. Uh, oh, oh, goodness. See, I'm getting ahead of myself. The little booklet that comes with them. That's all right. She's into pizza. So she is in the Pinky Promise with JC. Her Pinky Promise is to teach her my secret pizza crust recipe. 
And again with the hole. So, she, there's the little writing. I'm going to hold this part up and then, oh, okay, that's this empty space, what so makes it different. Hopefully you guys can see that. I'm going to try to hold it still enough that you guys can pause and read that. And I'm just going to do part of this at one time. So that way, there again, you can be able to pause and read. Ooh. Hopefully there's enough light. Let me adjust that just a tiny bit. Hopefully you guys can read that. By now I I know that they probably might be able to find it online somewhere. If not, I do apologize. Sometimes this camera doesn't want to always focus very very well. And here's the last little bit of writing about her. I do believe, because I'm pretty yeah, I'm pretty sure, yeah, it's just it's the, the group photo of all of them, and then the Meet the Crew Sisterhood of Girls. But in case this is your first time, I believe all that. If I get my finger out of the way, yeah, I'm not very coordinated tonight. Okay, and before I get even less coordinated, I'm going to pause and get the outfit out of the box. So this is the skater's got a skate. I will I will pause and get it out of the box in a moment. This is the red shirt with purple skates. There's also a blue shirt with no, it's a, I'm sorry, it's blue skates with a purple shirt. There's another one. So there are two with two accessory packs with skates. There's one with like a leopard print coat. There's one with a dress. There's a couple of different ones. This one was $4.99. This is, I believe, supposed to be the one, two, three, four, five, six piece. Your six piece, your eight piece. I don't know if it says it anywhere. Some of them like this in the skinny packaging, they're $4.99, and then there are ones in a little bit more square packaging that have like the jacket and then the full on dress. Those are $9.99. They are ten. Because you get a little bit more. Well, you get some more accessories. You get you pretty much always get at least a shirt or a dress. With this you get with the smaller ones you just get like a shirt and the shoes, which is one reason why I got it. Kind of the main reason why I got it is to have some extra shoes because I was not sure what was going to fit on her. And yes, I thought I'd seen somewhere where the, I know what it is, it's on JC, because JC has roller skates. How cool is this? You can take it from a shoe to a roller skate and that oh wait a minute I have discovered why there's holes why that's not gonna work well it kind of works dang it but you know what now I know one reason why they may have done holes because there is there's a skateboard pack and there's also um, one of those like hoverboards that's possibly why there are holes in the shoes and now I've got to pause, because this is going to take a moment. Be right back. If it'll pause. Okay. Here is the shirt. That I'll go ahead and put it on her, so that you guys can kind of see what it looks like. So I believe it's, it says skater's going to skate on the shirt as well, just like it does on the box. I didn't even realize that's what exactly it said. This kind of works cool with her. It's got a little safety pin. It is a little bit of a loose fit. I don't know if they did that so that it would also fit J JC. I'm I'm gonna guess that's maybe why. It's a pretty cool shirt. So as you can see, it's red. There's a black trim on the neck. This is kind of a blue, blue silver or silvery blue. It's not no, it's blue. Because when you compare it to the definitely silver safety pin, this is blue. Put the roller skates on it. This also velcros. It's solid, solid on the back as you can see. It comes with these little purple sunglasses. And like I said, one of the main reasons why I got it is the purple shoes, which can go from roller skates to regular sneakers. And boy, do I miss the days like with Monster High where you could tell which shoe was which. I may put these on the wrong shoe. I do like it, and I'm sorry if I just went out of frame. All right, I think I did. I put these back on the wrong one because they kind of they 
kept falling off when I was trying to get well they didn't fall off I pulled them let me clarify I pulled them off with trying to get the shoes on because I was not sure which shoe went to which foot they may still be backwards I really do miss the days when there was an L and an R or at least one or the other on the shoes and the wheels the wheels can move they're a little yeah, not very well but at least it gives the effect and so at least you're not like they're not skidding and they're not gonna fully snag if you then again they might okay well I was hoping they would move and roll around all right guys so also while I show you it did come with some sticker are these stickers or tattoos and while I figure that out, don't forget to hit that subscription subscription button if you haven't already. Also, you can find us on Facebook, Twitter, and Tumblr. Those are the some of the ways you can find out when we update and have new videos, because we will post there. You can also check out some of our playlists with some more doll reviews. We have doll reviews, we have blind bags, more has Legos. We sometimes do shopping hauls. Like I said, we finally found some and let me let you quit staring at that. I'm sure, the shirt's what you're looking for. And her. Yeah, not coordinated. I'm not coordinated tonight. <laughs> I'm just gonna put those around her neck. I'm so sorry. I'm trying. Um. Yeah. Anyways, Dollar Tree. Finally, doll clothes, shirts. I don't think Mar found any skirts because I wasn't with her at the time. It does not say if these are tattoos or if they are stickers. Uh, they're tattoos. Okay. I can see the, the plastic film. If they were stickers, they would just peel off. So, okay. So, they're tattoos. But I think I remember seeing on, like, the little picture. You, you, I guess you can try putting them on her as well as yourself. All right. So, thank you for bearing... Wow. Okay. Yeah. It's time to call it quits. I just lost the glasses. They just went flying at me. So, anywho, thank you so much for watching. For bearing with me. I will see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys. Oh, and don't forget to hit the thumbs up video if you like this video. Bye.